right now we don't have any feature in perplexity ai that lets you use it as some sort of ai companion similar to many modern browsers and some chrome ex extensions these days but it is possible to make perplexity ai behave as sort of simple and somewhat limited ai companion that will accompany you when you are doing some research or browse something on the internet or basically doing some work in general so as you can see here i have two perplexity pages open at the same time there is this main page and then there's also this smaller version that appears on the right side of the screen now this is actually not the official perplexity feature i'm just installing a chrome extension that lets me open another page on the side of the browser and the benefit of that is that you can keep this page on when you are browsing to a different page or different website it is going to be useful especially when you are doing some work and maybe you have some question that you want to ask and propacity is right there it's literally next uh, to the page that you are seeing so here's how you can get something like this on your chrome browser by the way i think it is worth mentioning that it is not only for chrome browser i think many browsers these days are using a chromium technology such as brave microsoft edge and many other browsers they are usually just using the same technology as google chrome and therefore you should be able to get this chrome extension so the extension that i'm talking about is this page side sidebar open any page inside panel i'm going to remove this because i'm going to reinstall it again and i will show you how you can use it so first uh, let's navigate to chrome web store And then I'm going to search for the extension name, which is Edge Side Panel. Oh, it's not the name. I think it's called, wait, I forgot. Page Sidebar, not Page Side Panel. Okay, Page Sidebar. There you go. That's the name of the extension. And I believe this is the extension that I was using before. Let's click it. And make sure that it is from this website from this uh, user and click add to chrome okay now the extension is being installed when it is done i do recommend you to pin this extension so you can access it anytime you want you can click on this icon on your browser and then you can click this pin icon page sidebar so essentially every time you open a new page you can click on the side panel icon and it will open this blank slate and you can insert perplexity page into this area so you can type perplexity ai right here or you can also just copy and paste or maybe just drag and drop the url into this area and it would immediately open that page and of course this is going to be a functional but uh, it has some limitations but let's talk about that later for now i'm going to test the feature Let's search something like AI news today. By the way, we are using the mobile web version, which is not the same as the mobile application. There is no voice feature. There is also a uh, some features that are not present i think the one thing that is quite obvious is the voice feature but the web version regardless whether it is mobile or desktop there is no voice version but the application like in the ios and android there is the voice feature that's one thing that i really dislike for publicity we got different features depending on the platform that we are using but anyway as you can see it is working just fine I can, you know, get answer from AI. I can also rewrite the content using different AI models. I can also share the document, etc. So basically it is working. But one thing that you need to know is that this is not aware of the, by the content or the page that we are opening at the moment. If I want to ask something like, let's say, can you summarize this news? It has no idea about the thing that I'm uh, seeing right now because it doesn't connect it to this page. It's just, it has no idea. So I apologize. I, I don't have access to the news that you're referring to. So that's one limitation. That's why I said this is not a, a somewhat useful in some cases. 
So this is not aware about the content that you are seeing, but it is still useful if you want, if you're okay with typing the prompt manually or maybe doing just a little bit work to refer the content to the AI model. One way to do that is by just copy and paste the link into your prompt. So I'm going to edit this query. Let me just copy this. And let's do that. So can you summarize this news? And then this is the URL of the page. Let's send that. And it should be able to read the content. It is not reading this directly. Instead, it's just searching uh, using its search engine and then read the content. But yeah, it is uh, still very helpful to speed up your workflow. But anyway, that's exactly how you can use Perplexity as sort of AI copilot on your browser. If you find this video to be useful, then please consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you on the next video.